This is a story about a saxophonist who discovered the power of marketing and how to maneuver through the good, the bad and the hidden dangers to create success. This is his story. And I think in Ski Johnson's case, the evidence of that is, is just profound. I don't want the album. Ski Johnson's I don't want the has been heard worldwide. I want the Ski Johnson experience. Ski Johnson. Take jazz to a whole nother level. Ski Johnson's new CD called New Beginnings is the number one contemporary jazz album in the country. <laughs> good conversation, he had really positive energy, and those are the kind of people that I, you know, I like to be associated with and like to hang around. I learned that he had a condition that took his hair away, he was shy about it, self-conscious about it. Happy birthday, Ski Johnson. Georgetown and sit in in the jam session. saw in Ski early on was his ability and desire to put in the hard work. To do the things that other people are not willing to do, to go beyond and push the envelope. And also uh, to be fearless. The target audience of successful people, because that's what this is for, is motivating music to move you and to motivate you to be successful and continue on your path and to not let the haters get in the way. Most people don't know. There's a couple of things about BET that are kind of like behind the scenes. Some people think a saxophone player bringing his horn on red carpet is outrageous. And yeah, you're right. It's geniusly outrageous. Because some things, a flute would be too light. Uh, a guitar is a little too much. Couldn't do it with an upright bass. Tiffany's, nah, I can't do it. Tuba, oh, oh hell no. But just a saxophone because you carry it in your head. 